Hi everyone, it's Jerry. Here's another interesting puzzle that I'd like to share with you. It's an endgame study by Richard Reddy that was published in 1928. It's white to move. If you'd like to, go ahead, pause the video, see if you can find the best continuation for white. Okay, the solution here is to not initially push your pawn up to e7 as the bishop will be there to track it down. And, well, the king is just not going to be fast enough to catch this black pawn. Another faulty try would be king f7 or g7 because, well, he's just not going to be fast enough. Any push, once again, the bishop's there to track that pawn down. So what exactly is the trick here? Well, the first move, the solution to this one, is king e7. Seems a bit odd, of course, obstructing your own pawn, but it certainly will have its point revealed soon enough. The initial intention is to once again make use of f6 to track that pawn down. So black needs to push. King d6. It seems as though he's moving away from this pawn, but he is yet again in a position to hunt him down, only this time by way of e5. g4. And now we push our pawn. This is a very key moment. Forcing bishop b5. And now the point is revealed with white's next move. King c5 comes all the way from f8, makes use of c5 to do what exactly? Have two threats in mind. One, simply grab the bishop, and two, be in a position to be inside of the box to track this pawn down. What does, what does black do here? g3, we would scoop up the bishop. White is the side who queens first. This would be a draw. And the other attempt here would be, let's say, to move the bishop out of harm's way. But now, the king is getting to this square here on d4. He is, in fact, inside of the box. He will be able to catch this pawn if he continues to march. Suppose king b7, simply king e4, king c7, king f4. The black king is almost there to scoop that pawn up, which would allow this bishop to stay trained on that g4 pawn and defend that pawn. But now would come e8. Deflecting the bishop away, we scoop that pawn up, and this is, of course, a drawn position. I'd like to emphasize one key detail here. This is a very cool puzzle. Uh, the, again, the main aim here was to make use of c5 to basically go straight into that square, e7, d6, c5, so that we can gain a tempo against the bishop. Notice, after g4, if we are playing king c5 at this point here, instead of pushing our pawn, notice how after king c5, g3 creates a new door, a new diagonal for the bishop. Now after e7, there's simply bishop here. There will be no tempo against the bishop, and black is the one who would win. But again, just to recap this here being the solution, king e7, d6, c5, where he eventually gains a tempo against the bishop, and will be in a position to hunt that pawn down just in the nick of time here with this deflection, e8 equals queen, and then king takes pawn. So uh, that's all for this video. Feel free to leave some feedback and let me know what you thought of it, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.